Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at SP500Chart.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets, featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. I uh, just want to remind you the uh, website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at either the site or in this video uh, is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. And uh, nothing has really changed from yesterday to today. I am still not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. Okay, looking here at the uh, S&P 500. You know, something happened today that I really, what two things happened today that I was not expecting. And I want to show these to you. But the first thing I want to uh, point out is this line right here. I'm going to make this red so that it's very visible and you can remember it. Um, that big rally that started right at about, what was it, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Was that when it was? Uh, that happened, and it made an almost perfect back test to this line right here. Okay, that was that gray line. It was gray yesterday. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make it gray so we can be always be kind of apples to apples. There's yesterday's gray line that I said I thought we would mount a back test uh, on it. But here's what surprised me. It came much later in the day than I was thinking. Uh, I was really thinking that, uh, that we had seen the low yesterday when we uh, made this... Uh, made that trip down to about 1200 pierced below it momentarily I thought we were going to go up from 1200 and tag that top line in the low 1220s instead we go down a little lower today and then we head back up and then suddenly uh, it the market just takes off and we get that big uh, tall candle right at around uh, three o'clock or so I think that's when it happened uh, hold on. I want. I don't want to misspeak. It was yeah. Let's call it three o'clock. So we have uh, that a uh, big. Uh, like I said, that big uh, back test now on this line. Uh, the S and P momentarily got over that, but then it sold back fairly heavy. And uh, I guess the question at this point is, does that mean now? We, uh, we're going to head back down and come back down to support. Or is this move strong enough to continue and break out out of the top of this pattern and head on up uh, potentially to the uh, mid-1200s for a back test on the uh, head and shoulders neckline? And to remind you what that would look like, that's, there's that neckline right there. Now this is what is looking strange to me, and I'm going to speak frankly. I always try to speak frankly, but I'm going to be uh, uh, maybe a little bit more frank. This is a really difficult market to get a handle on. This is this has been really tough in through all of this because we've just had today we had what another another uh, from the lows to the highs. I think we had another 40 point swing today. Let's take a look at it on the five minute chart. Here was our low down around uh, 1192 and 1232, a 40-point swing. Now, um, I did what I said I was going to do, and fortunately, because of technical analysis, it didn't hurt that bad. Um, I said that if we broke underneath this line yesterday, that I would sell on a back test, which I did. Uh, I went short right here on the return to this line but when it then got up back over that line and also over this uh this little uh resistance line right here drawn from this top in the in that top yesterday i said hey that was not the right thing to do i need to get out of this and i got out of it uh on this little pullback right here that never quite got as far as i wanted it to but i got out with a point what was it, 0.2% uh, loss uh, on that, uh, it, as judging from uh, the, the move in the uh, S&P. Uh, when we got up here and we tagged this line up here, uh, I did short that. And if it, if, it, if it breaks out, then I'll have to cover that for a loss too. But, you know, this black line 
goes all the way back to this high back here. And that has been the high that has been in place for, what, one, two, three, four, five, wait a minute, count again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost eleven weeks. We briefly pierced over that today, but you know, I'm still thinking that we're going to come down and, and back test this line right here. And that line keeps floating around on me a little bit. That would be uh, this orange line drawn over the uh, uh, late July uh, highs. And then over the next high that we get that, that preceded this really big dip down here. And, and that's why I'm choosing this one. Because that's the one, that's the highest level we had before that, before that big uh, piercing down on that uh, uh, to the about 1080 or so. So, uh, you know, but I, I'll be honest with you, this is extremely difficult on a day like today when you get a 40-point swing and you get that head fake uh, right out of the box. Down here, it looks like it's breaking down. And, uh, and that caused me to, to redraw this line here, thinking, well, maybe now we're, I, th I thought, you know, while we were up in here around 12, 17, 12, 20, I thought, well, maybe this is a head and shoulders top we're making. Well, it's not a head and shoulders top anymore. It could be a broadening pattern, which is another uh, bearish top, uh, topping pattern. As a matter of fact, uh, we had a little broadening pattern back. When was it? I think it was right back in here that I kind of was reading that like a broadening pattern. This was, uh, or, or maybe it was this one. I can't remember. We've had a number of little top formations that have really kind of made that last uh, move up before, uh, before the wheels come off and, and there's a pretty swift down move after that. So uh, if that's going to happen, I don't know. I really can't tell you. I can tell you that this sh should be some resistance. It appears that it was some resistance today. And uh, clearly we're in some kind of formation right here where the market is seeking out some direction. And um, if it's up, I'm going to get out of this in a hurry with, a, with another small loss. Uh, and if it's down, I'll make some money. But uh, I, I am a little suspect right now that we have not had a back test to this line right here. And I think eventually we do. Um, but that's, that's kind of a hunch. It's not so much anything written in stone. Uh, looking at the three-minute chart again, I'll, I'll show you a couple things. Uh, once uh, we, we uh, broke out over this um, uh, little kind of a channel here I've marked in a very light orange. It's not a real well-defined channel, so, uh, but, w but once we made this touchdown here and it started back up, I said, okay, let's draw this line, then let's make a parallel line. And lo and behold, it landed right across here and here. So I said, well, that's a significant thing. Now uh, we had started a parallel channel that was moving up. And by the way, the handwriting was kind of on the wall today when we had this inverse head and shoulders pattern appear on this uh, three-minute chart. There's the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. Um, a breakout, a little pullback. And I had uh, a measurement of this pattern to about 12.25. And uh, that was exceeded. That's not that unusual. So the line to watch tomorrow, if we don't just keep busting on up on, on this uh, idea that Europe has suddenly solved their problems, um, if, if we don't do that, and if this line breaks, then, then I would be looking for weakness tomorrow. But hey, guys, I have to, I have to confess, um, and I think you know it too, this has been one wacky uh, thing going on here for about the past nine to ten weeks. And uh, I feel good that I've gotten out of it, and I haven't lost anything. Uh, I hate to say that. You, you probably think that, uh, Jim, you, you do all this charting and everything. You should be making a lot of money. Yeah, but, you know, the fact of the matter is when, when it got all squirrely like this, I kind of backed off. And I said, I'm going to let this market show me more than what it's shown me so far because I guarantee you uh, ladies and gentlemen I guarantee you the average emotional investor has lost a lot of money from here to here um, 
you know that's true because they they trade on emotions they're not trading on anything that's that's objective they're going oh oh things are starting to go up i better buy then they head down then they sell and then they start to go up well it's going up again so they buy and then they head down and they sell and uh my feeling is is that uh what's been going on for the past two and a half months or so and I'm not saying that this this in a conspiratorial sense, but what's been going on for the past two and a half months or so has been Joe Retail being taken to the cleaners. And uh, so if, if you have gotten out of, of, uh, out of the past two and a half months, if you are sitting even or a little better uh, at this point, uh, I think, and, and please, I mean, feel free to comment however you want, but if you have not lost money, over the past two and a half months, uh, I'd be willing to say you have done much better than the average person. So congratulations. Uh, I still am waiting for a back test here. Uh, I'm short on the on that touch up there, open up into the. Uh, uh, actually, I think I went short at about 12:26, and uh, so we'll see how that works out. It may not work out at all. If it does, great. If not, yeah, live and learn. Uh, but. My next uh, feeling would be on a return to this orange line would be a good place uh, to, to take a look at some serious long positions. Uh, because if we return here and then start to turn up, this whole pattern uh, does have some bullish undertones to it that, that you need to be aware of. But we'll keep an eye on that as this develops. It's still preliminary. We got probably at least another, oh, probably two or three weeks before we would know if that's going to happen or not. Again, I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you like this kind of analysis, uh, come by sp500chart.com. Check out the subscription. It's dirt cheap. It's $19.95 per month. If you want to do it for a year, it's $189.95. That is less than a cheap cup of coffee per day. And uh, even though uh, no analyst gets the charts right 100% of the time, um, I don't think there's anybody who, who's doing quite what I'm doing. I may be wrong, but uh, it, it certainly, I think, uh, if for that price, you can afford to add that to your mix of, uh, of research before you make the decision on what you need to do with your money. So uh, stop by sp500chart.com. Thanks again for watching the video. If you're seeing this on the 18th of October, thank you for already being a subscriber. If you're seeing it on the, tw on the uh, 19th, don't be dumb. Subscribe.